Hey guys, welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Um, a little bit of news this morning on patch 3.3 we've just had released. Um, just a bit of new information, so I'm going to share it with you guys first. So here's the information here. Obviously my face is in the way a little bit, but I shall move it. We've had some news for you. The 3.3 update is coming soon. We've prepared pretty cool improvements. So this is actually one I'm pretty excited about, to be honest. Um, it's the fitting room. So it's literally a fitting room for your champions. You can easily try on the artifacts and accessories and find the ones that suit the best in terms of champion stats, depending on different combinations of artifacts. So you'll be able to try on and replace any artifact, accessory, or set of artifacts from the storage up to six items simultaneously, rather than trying one piece in at a time, which is pretty cool. Equip your champion with all the items you're trying on, filter the items, sell them, fitting is free, but then you equip them, it still requires the same silver cost. Um, so here we've got a little picture of what it's actually going to look like here. Um, I'm just going to quickly hide my silly camera thing because I don't have a green screen yet. I'm going to get one soon, guys. If you want me to get a green screen, please comment below. Um, but let's switch this off. So it's literally another icon here, the fitting room. And all these things are little icons with a coat hanger on it. And it effectively just seems like you can try on stuff before you equip it just to see what the stats are going to look like. Um, it's a really, really useful piece of kit this maybe like two months ago but to be honest see since the Hellhades optimizer has come out I don't really see me using this too much because I, I like the optimizer it's really really good it, um, it picks out the stats exactly what you want without you having to even search through your artifacts so I'll probably still end up using that but this is an in-game thing it's definitely going to be useful because there are some things especially like if you're trying to put savage gear on it gets a little bit awkward with the optimizer i'm not great at using it yet whereas this looks like it's fairly easy to use um but yeah i shouldn't really complain this is a very welcome addition to the game um really really simple but really really strong the only thing that bugs me is i wish they would maybe either lower the silver cost of equipping items or maybe even just like once a month if they had like a an event, I'm, I'm pretty sure they talked about this a while ago as well, where you could for 24 hours maybe just equip everything for free. Um, something like that would be really good, um, especially with Doom Tower, because you're having to kind of re-equip champions all the time with just destroy sets and various other things. So it's um, it can get a little bit, especially if, if you've got loads of champions, duplicates and stuff, you can get away with it. But but if you don't, and the vast majority of people don't. I think that would be something that should be looked into. Um, so yeah, that's here. We've also got, if we just scroll up here, the clan boss keys inbox change. After the update, all keys that you purchase, receive as compensation or as a reward in the tournament events will be added to your inbox separately, not as a bulk. So that's just a, <laughs> that's just a basic. I've no idea why they didn't do that before. Because before, if you had, say, if you got three keys, if you used your three keys, they all went straight on, so you wouldn't get your refresh, so it was kind of pointless. So if you get three keys from, say, a pack, you can just use one at a time, which is really, really useful. So small quality of life change, but but pretty good. But yeah, that's all the information we have so far. Um, I'm quite excited about the fitting room. I think it's it's definitely a, a welcome addition. It wasn't that long ago, I actually, to remember the the filter coming in, to be honest, and that made a massive difference. Um, so now we've got a fitting room, we've got a filter. Between that and then having the Hell Ladies optimizer as a separate program altogether, I think we're pretty well set up to kit out our champions now. Um, gone are the days of scrolling through literally hundreds and hundreds of artifacts, looking for those speed rolls, looking for stuff. I remember those days and I am not sad that they are now disappeared hopefully for good. So yeah, that's that guys. So yeah, just a short one. Uh, I also just quickly put out a poll on my YouTube community page and I was looking at the kind of top four things that people really want from the game coming next. So I listed the Hydra boss, I listed the new dungeons, live arena and a duplicate champion system. And lo and behold, the duplicate champion system got like 82% of votes or something. Everything else was low. I think nobody wanted live arena. I don't know how it would work in this game with defenses and stuff, but um, few people wanted a Hydra boss, but really the community definitely wants a duplicate system. And I know everyone's gone on about it before, but I'm going to make it my mission to kind of dedicate a video to new options that we could do for the duplicate system. So I'd really appreciate if anyone leaves in the comments below or get to me on Discord any ideas they have for a duplicate champion system. And what I'll do is I'll pick the sort of 10 best community ones. Uh, I've got a few myself as well. And we'll do a little video about it and see if we can maybe, I don't know, it's, it's unlikely they're going to listen, but we can maybe push the ball a little bit further down the line, which would be which would be good. So yeah, that's it guys. Just a short one today, trying to get that information out early. So yeah, as usual guys, please like and subscribe to the channel and have a great day guys. Peace.